Hey everybody, it's Jen from Jen Plans and I have the new 2019-2020 Erin Condren Life Planner to show you and all of the new accessories. Well, maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, I chose um, the colorful hourly layout, so that's the one I'm gonna be showing you. I do have links in the description of this video if you wanna see um, the other layouts because they've made some pretty significant changes this year to all of them. So this is, um, this is what I have right now. I'm so excited. I'm gonna walk you through the accessories really quickly and then we'll jump right into the planner because I'm pretty certain, even though these are beautiful, that you guys probably wanna see the planner. So of course, the elastic bands are back. You can wrap these around the planners, the notebooks. They stretch pretty big, so I think you can use them on both sizes of the books. I This is probably my favorite color scheme that they've released. It kind of reminds me of like a mermaid, like. Uh, color palette. Also, um, don't mind my nails. They are go wild um, ready. We uh, leave in a couple days for the planner conference and I'm so excited. So that's why I'm <laughs> it's a little more uh, festive than usual. So these are the elastic bands. I love using these to keep everything together. I did not use to use these um, because I didn't feel like I needed them, but the, the more stuff I cram into my planner, the more I find that I need them. So I love those. Uh, this is just the same petite journal uh, that that EC has had for a while, just in the new kaleidoscope color scheme. Every year they kind of have like a, a theme um, pattern, and so this year it's the kaleidoscope. I went classic, and I got my planner in the kaleidoscope um, pattern as well. I'll go through that um, in a little bit. This is something that I think a lot of people are excited about. If you have any of these pens, you know that they usually come in sets of, I think six, maybe five. I think they come in sets of six or sometimes three, but they've thrown a couple into surprise boxes and they've sold them kind of based on like color groupings. This is the first time they've come out with kind of like a true multi-pack. Um, so this set includes fuchsia, light pink, coral, nectarine, aloe, kelly green, cerulean, and yes, I had to Google how to pronounce pronounce that, navy, amethyst, and lilac. So this is a really good rainbow mix. I was kind of hoping that they would do something like this, and they did, and I'm so excited. So I'll do a little pen test of these in just a little bit, but these are the dual tip markers. I love using these in the weekly layout. I use the bold tip for like appointments or things that are set in stone, um, and then I use the fine tip for like the more detailed stuff. So that is, those are the markers. This is the Planny Pack. Same setup as the other planning packs. You can wrap it around your planner or your folio, and it, it holds a whole bunch of stuff, pens. Um, I, I probably wouldn't put stickers. You could put stickers in here. I probably, I keep my stickers in the, uh, in the actual planner. But this is great for like pens or elastics or bookmarks or um, sticky notes, things like that. And there are a couple of new, there might be more, but these are the two that I got in the preview box. Two new dashboards. So this one is a general checklist on one side and then the other side is just a dot grid kind of open planning space, which is great. I love things that are a little bit more flexible and this fits the bill, so I love this. You can use this for just about anything. And then these snap in kind of like bookmarks. On one side is priorities and then a, like a habit tracker. And then on the other side is just a list of the weekdays. So you could use this for meal planning or for things that are important to not forget or you know whatever. And then I'll do a, a kind of like a pen test for these two, but these are gem tone fine tip wet erase markers. I prefer the fine tip. I don't know if they even still have the more bold ones, but I love the fine tip. They write a little bit more like a pen. Dark red, coral, iris, and gray for these. And these of course wipe off. You could wipe them off with water. You can use an alcohol pad. You can use a wipe, a wet paper towel. Pretty much anything will take the wet erase off. You could also use a permanent marker that will come off with an alcohol pad. Um, if you want things to like, if you want to do like permanent marker here and then kind of like refresh this every week. I know a lot of people do that too. So really excited about the new snap-ins. And then the last couple of accessories with the exception of this one are kind of just new versions of old ones that they've had. These stickers are great. These are sticker, well, they're like post-it notes, um, but you can peel them off and put them like in a column in your weekly layout, or you can put them like on a bookmark or on the inside cover. I really like putting sticky notes um, like on a bookmark or on an inside cover instead of directly on the page. The page has a lot of real estate for me in terms of planning, so I, I like keeping that free. 
but I do know a lot of people that just cover it up because you can flip this up and see what's underneath it too. So both ways work, but this is the new kaleidoscope pattern. I like that there's so much writing space on this one. And then of course the little snap in bookmarks. These are great if you need to reference something quickly. And the planner is great because it has tabs, but sometimes you want to you know, have a little bookmark in there for the week um, if you don't want to use the big one or you want to keep this, I don't know, like in the front or in the notes section. So these are the, these are two of them. And then the third one uh, that of course has been around for a while is the pen holder. I clip my pen into my coil. So I don't use these in my planner, but they're great to have if you have pens that don't clip into the coil. Um, but I use these more like in my notebooks. And the last one, this is totally new. I was kind of surprised to see this. This is a ballpoint pen. It comes in a really nice box and it's in the kaleidoscope pattern. So this would be like a really cool gift. I don't know how much this is. I don't know the, the tip size, but I will, um, I'll do a little writing test with this too, but it is ballpoint in case you're wondering. And it comes in this really pretty box. Last but not least in terms of accessories, the sticker book. Uh, this is, I'm almost as excited every year to see the inside of the sticker book as I am to see the planner, just cause I, I love these. So of course this is the fifth edition. They've done four other ones. They'll probably pull some of the other ones off the side. I think some of them have started to go, but they're a really good mix of decorative and functional. Of course, it's the kaleidoscope theme. So you have quote stickers in the beginning and then some like flag and circular stickers. These are like the, the regular like paper feel stickers. Same as these and these. They've kind of incorporated, I shouldn't say kind of, they've incorporated a hexagon um, into this year's theme as well. It's a little more subtle than the kaleidoscope, but I don't know if you've picked up on it. They have a couple of like sprinkles of hexagons in there. This one is clear, like when you peel the sticker off, you can see behind it. So those are clear. Um, oh, I like these, these are pretty. Kind of like, you know, part decorative, part functional. These are like the paper feel as well. These I love. I could probably use all just stickers like that. Okay, so they're like kind of a little bit like translucent. You can see a little bit through them, but they're still pretty um, saturated. Same with these. And then I think this is the last. Oh, nope, one more after this one. So really nice, flexible um, stickers. Oh, well, some gift labels in the back. That's really nice. They haven't done those. I don't think they've done those in a while, but it's nice having these to kind of slap on a gift um, every once in a while. And then of course, little flags. So this is the sticker book. I'm guessing they will come out with a monthly. They usually come out with a monthly sticker book as well, which I also love, but this is the, um, this is the sticker book. And this, of course, is the Life Planner. Like I said, I got the colorful hourly layout. Um, it's just the one that makes the most sense for me and kind of for where I am right now in my life. So I love the colorful hourly, so that's the one I'm showing you. Um, as you can tell, it comes in a box this year, um, which I would say is, you know, like this, this part is kind of a thinner cardboard. The, the bottom piece is a little bit heavier but definitely could be used for storage after you're done using the planner. I don't think this is something you would like keep your planner in like on a weekly basis, but I know so many people keep their planners as keepsakes to look back on in later years. So this is great for that. So I'll move that over here. I love that it's in the kaleidoscope pattern. I also have not done like a thorough, like I flipped through a little bit, but I haven't really gone through in great detail myself yet. So we're gonna all be doing it together, but I wanted to share kind of my first um, impressions. So first thing is the bookmark. This uh, bookmark comes with every planner. This one is a little bit wider than other years. And I think if I'm not mistaken that other years have had rounded corners, but I'm not sure. But this one's a little bit wider. It doesn't feel as thick as the other one. So I'm not sure if the thickness is any different or if it just feels that way to me. But I know a lot of people use these to mark the week that they're on. So, so it still comes with the bookmark, even though it's changed a little bit. I also chose the rose gold coil, which is what I had last year. I'll hold mine up from last year to compare. So this is my, this is my coil from last year. It looks to me 
like the rose gold one is a little more rosy this year. I don't know if you can see that in the, um, in the vi video. And you can tell the one I've used and the one I have not used yet. All right, I get, I think I got a 12, yeah, I got a 12 month again. I like 12 month um, planners. I know a lot of people like 18 month. You can get them in 12 month or 18 month. I chose 12 month and I do mine on, a, on like an academic year. So that is the coil. Oh, what is this? I did not see this before. Uh, interesting. Okay, so um, this looks like the stuff that used to come in the pouch. So I'm guessing there is no pouch. Okay, so if you like having a pouch, the great thing is if you've had an EC planner before, a while ago, a couple years ago, they changed the, the, there used to be a zipper pouch, actually, I can show you here. Um, there's a zipper pouch that used to come in the back of the planner. It looks like this, but they sent it with coil clips so that you could clip it in out. So if you've ever had an EC planner before, you can just clip yours out and put it into the new one, but it looks like, it is, I don't think they left out. I think this is not in there anymore. Okay, so it looks like it still comes with the stuff that used to come in the zipper pouch, which I'm guessing is a couple of compliment cards, some stickers, um, and that white thing in the back might be a clipboard. I mean, a, not a clipboard, um, a coupon. A friend, yeah, share. Okay, so those are gift codes. And then some, some gift tag stickers and compliment cards. Fun, okay, so that comes in the front. Looks like still comes with it, just not in the pouch. So the front of the planner. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. All right, so front dashboard is the same. Vellum is the same. On the go life planner where you would write your name and definitely a phone number or email address in case you ever were to lose it. Quote page is the same. I hope they never, ever, ever get rid of this layout. This looks a little more like sleek than years past. I love this. This is where you can do so many things in here. The first couple of years I had a planner, I didn't really do anything with this space. I just kind of used it as a reference. But now I use this, especially now that I am a mom of school aged children, I use this to keep track of my kids' school calendar, like days off and spring break and winter break and early dismissal and special programs. And I use the little, um, I'll just show you this one because it'll be easier. I use the little clear stickers from Chrissy and Designs and I will link those in the description as well. But this is what I use it for now. I just put the key at the top. My kids go to different schools. I have two in elementary and one in preschool. So they're on like slightly different, they're like mostly the same schedule, but my preschooler has a couple extra days off and you know the drill. So I love, 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 so love using these to keep track of their school year in the beginning of the planner. Although, if you don't have kids or if you don't have kids that are in school right now, this is great for tracking days off at work, vacation days that you take in, sick days. Um, you can track your monthly cycle if you need to track that. There are so many things. Exercise, if you have like a goal to do like, you know, you're filling your circles on your Apple. I don't know, I don't have an Apple Watch, but if I did and I wanted to fill my circles, I could mark down days that I filled um, the circle. So there are so many things that you could use this spread for. That's just what I like to use mine for, but I always try to say in every video, it's so important to make your planner your own and make it work for you. So nobody, people don't have to use this all the same way, but it's a really great tool if you want to use it for something. You don't have to use it at all. You could just use it as reference, but I, I like using mine for that. And then it looks like, okay, they kept this page. I like to use this page, this spread for, like I put the month in each box and then I use this for like special things that are coming up or birthdays or like Mother's Day, like, you know, May is Mother's Day and my grandma's birthday and um, things like that. So I'll, I'll kind of map out kind of the big things that happen each month and then I'll reference this when I'm going through and planning out each month. And it's really nice to have it all in one place. I also put things in here that are like not the same every year. Like if we have big trips coming up or if, you know, we get a save the date for a wedding, I, I put that in here. So I know kind of ahead of time what's coming up. And then it looks like, okay, so we're going into July. This is very different. Okay, so you have a blank notes page and a quotes page. And then a blank kind of dashboard looking page, paper, 
And then this is very, very new. Okay, so let's look at this. This is, okay, so over the years, EC has kind of um, changed the look of the monthly page situation. Way in the beginning when I started using Erin Connor and stuff, um, they had just four notes pages and the weeks were like broken up by month. It was, um, I'll, I should do like a throwback video sometime. But anyway, it's changed over the years. They've kind of gone back and forth between notes pages and like more structured pages. But this is definitely throwing in a structured page, which I think, you know, people kind of turn these pages into whatever they want. This is what a lot of people seem to use them for. So monthly goals, birthdays, and then two kind of flex spaces to be used, you know, however you might want to use them. July is always also a little bit goofy, so we'll go through the rest of the um, months and weeks and then we can see kind of if it's the same before every month. This is a new monthly layout. Okay, so the design kind of borders the top and bottom of the page. And then for the first time, they've put a color here, which I'm guessing, okay, so if you've also, if you've been around, I know I say that a lot, if you've been around EC a long time, some of these things are familiar. Like there has always been a note section and for the last couple of years, the colors of the months have kind of stayed the same. So like July has always been navy, August has always been yellow, which means September, this one will probably be purple. Oops, uh-oh, where'd it go? Where are you? September is purple. October is going to be orange and so on and so on. So these look like colorful sidebars for notes. Interesting that the tab, okay, so the tab is not on the monthly layout anymore. The tab is on like kind of the start to the next monthly section. Okay, so then we go into the month and the week. So July 1st, don't you love it when a month starts on a Monday? This is a, okay, this is a huge departure from previous layouts. I would say probably the biggest change that I have seen in a weekly layout other than like when they've introduced a totally new style. You can see kind of like the hexagon theme a little bit built in. One of the biggest things is a, a colorful kind of strip um, across the bottom. I don't know what it looks like in the neutral. And then I don't know if you can see here. So here's here's the here's the good and bad of Erin Condren. Um, I find, in my opinion, that they do a fantastic job of listening to what customers want. And for the last two or three years, people have been wanting a day that goes later than seven o'clock at night, which is what the current hourly does. So let me, so I've been, I'm using the hourly. Let me flip to like a week that hasn't been used yet. Mm -hmm. Do I have one? June. Okay, I'll flip to like a week in June. So this is a week in, oh, this is May. Just kidding. Okay, so this is a week in May. Previously, the day has gone to seven. So many people, so many people. I have seen it in so many places. I'm positive they got so much survey feedback that they wanted a planner that went until like nine or 10 o'clock. So as good of a job as EC does listening to customers and making changes, they made the day go really until 10. It goes from six all the way through nine o'clock to 10. Um, unfortunately, the downside of that is if you really liked something a certain way, <laughs> it goes away. It makes you really sad. Um, and I, just being totally honest, I love that they did this for the customers who wanted it to go later, but I'm really sad that the half hours are gone. Like really sad. I'm really sad. So I, I live my whole life in half hours. However, I do love that they listen to customers because I know that I'm probably in the minority and there are probably plenty of people who would rather have it go until 10 o'clock. I love that they did this for the people who wanted it to go later. You just cannot please everybody. Everybody uses things different ways and I love that they listen to their customers so I cannot fault them for that. However, for me personally, I'm a little bit sad. The other thing is, I don't know if you can hold the other one up too. The This is really kind of also the first time that the size of the like, time slots changed. So I don't know if you can tell, these are half an inch. These look like they're, I don't know, maybe a, like a little more than a third of an inch. 
if that makes sense. Right? Yeah, a little more than a third of an inch. So all you sticker makers out there, you guys are going to have some, um, unfortunately, I have some editing to do because the old stickers are not going to fit the same way um, that the new ones laid out. Okay, so there's my moment of sadness. This is a great time to say <laughs> that. I think anyone can be, you can make your planner what you want it to be. I will figure out a way how to incorporate half hour time blocks in here because that is something that's important to my schedule. But I understand from an aesthetic perspective, you can't, if you're gonna fit this many hours in a day, you just you can't do half hour time slots. Totally get it. Respect the designers. I, oh man. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get creative with figuring out half hours. Um, so this is the new layout. So this is the weekly layout. A couple other things that I love. I, for a long, long, long time, have been really missing this bottom corner. It used to be, the little calendar used to be up here. Then they completely took the calendar away. I absolutely love having a little calendar on each week. It is so helpful to me to see where we are in each week. And before, um, like a really long time ago, when they had them, I used to highlight the week. Just, I just, I don't know why. I, it helps me immensely to see where we are in the month. And I love looking at it every single week. The July up here, I'm sure they probably put that in because they found that there were a lot of people that were not using the blank box that was up there. It used to be a quote and then they took it out and made it blank and now they kind of put this back. They've changed this space a lot. I do totally love that they took the little um, circles out of the sidebar. This is what it used to look like and they kind of put them in every other one. I love that it's not like that anymore. So thank you to whoever changed that. This, I've talked to a few other ladies who have preview planners. I'm seeing some mixed feelings on these, so I'm guessing that when, when people see this, they will have mixed feelings as well. I don't mind it. I don't, I don't really do like big color themes, and if I do, it kind of coordinates with the color of the week anyway because you know, weeks traditionally have had some color injected into them if you have a colorful layout. So this does not bother me at all. And I actually really kind of like seeing it separate for meals or for workouts or for like gratitude or, you know, whatever you want to put at the bottom that's not really time related. Or you can put like your top priorities for the day. There are a lot of ways you could use this section, but I do know that a lot of people like to use this in a more decorative way and they like to make the colors their own. So you could certainly cover this up if you don't want to have the color blocks. Weeks are all the same. That's kind of, those are the big, that's the biggest, the half hour. That's the biggest change. Um, and then going into new months, you have your one blank full page, quote page, and then this spread, which is new compared to years past. It used to just be the notes page and then a quotes page. So blank kind of dashboard style page. And then of course, um, the birthday is monthly goals and then two flexible spaces. So that's kind of the, the middle section. It, it kind of just repeats that theme all the way through. Flip all the way. I don't need to show you every single month. That's kind of what you would expect, just different color schemes, but the sa same layout. And then we'll go to, let's go to the back. Okay, so this is the end of July. So now, or the end of June. So now we're at the end of June, we're at July. There is a uh, notes section, which is same old. I love that this is back here. I totally use my notes pages, and I'm really glad those are here. It looks like they have some line, some dot grid, and then I did see when I flipped through before that they do have some coloring pages. If you like to color, these are great pages. If you are not a coloring person or you don't have time or it's just not something that you do, this is also a great place to like, if you have stuff that you have printed out, like for me, I get stuff printed out from my kids, like calendars and karate schedule and baseball, stuff that they hand out and give you. And if I don't want to rewrite it, I will just either glue it or tape it or use an adhesive runner and put it onto these pages. They make really good like background frames or you can put pictures in here and whatnot. This is, I don't really know what this is meant for. Maybe, I don't know, it's at the end of the planner. So maybe future, anything at the end of the planner, it leads me to believe that it's future stuff, especially when it's laid out like this. So I don't know if, I don't know, people will get, I'm sure, creative and fill this with maybe things they're thankful for, maybe future events that are coming up, maybe kind of like areas of focus for the year. You could really use anything, um, use them for anything. But that's kind of a new addition. The contacts page, this is great for like, if you're planning and you need to make a dentist appointment, I know most people have stuff in their phones, but it's nice to have a list of contacts here or like a list of, for, I don't know, I think I'm always thinking from the mom perspective, I have kids in school, so this is like all my brain is thinking about right now, but like 
who are my kids' teachers? Who is your piano teacher? What's the name of their, you know, uh, soccer coach or whatever. So I like having that kind of all in one place. Like these are all the people I'm dealing with this year. Might change, but these are the people I'm dealing with this year. And then of course, 2021, what? But when you're going through the year, you do need to plan ahead. Like I, I've already, actually I might have a wedding that I already know about to put in here. So it's great to be able to really, really plan ahead. Like I said, I have a 12 month. I know a lot of people keep the 18 month because they like to look way ahead. I think you can also do it in a 12 month. Um, and so I like keeping my, my planner a little bit on the thinner side, even though it's still very thick. But I use this for things that are coming up. And then in the back, of course, are stickers. Ooh, these are new. These are really pretty. Oh, interesting. Okay, so lots of flags, lots of like kind of habit um, stickers, decorative. And then these, I was wondering, okay, I was wondering if these were gonna make an appearance. I have seen some of the new notebooks and they have stickers just like this. So they're still the same shape as before, um, just a little bit different. They have the little, it's like gold foil asterisk. And that's the last page of stickers. And then the other thing that I'm so happy about, it seems like a little thing, but you guys know it's a big thing. I am so glad that they changed the pocket. So the, the pocket used to be like this way on the front and then on the back it had like a little, okay, so this is what it used to look like. This is the front, so that's the same. But then on the back it had this, let's just save the date, Brooke. It had this little this little pocket, and I just always have the hardest time getting stuff in there and keeping it in there. So I'm so excited. <laughs> this seems like a small change, but I'm really excited because I use my pockets in the back. I stuff them with stuff. I use this one for any invitation or announcement that I receive, and then I use this side for stickers. So I'm really pumped that this year they fixed, I'm gonna call it fix. I'm not even gonna say modify. They fixed the folder in the front. Um, and then of course the dashboard on the back. So that is, that's the new um, colorful hourly. I'm dying to know what you guys think. Tell me in the comments what you think. Do you like the changes? Are you are you gonna have to be modifying some stuff like I am? I am not worried. I I'm I've always felt like I can work with as long as the bones are good. I can work with modifying the layouts a little bit to make them what I need them to be. And I cannot reiterate enough how thankful I am that EC as a company as a whole really tries hard to listen to their customers. And there have been so many people that have been wanting these later hours. So um, hopefully you're really excited about this change. If you're like me, um, I'll be sharing ways throughout the year that I'll be kind of modifying this a little bit to fit like my half hour kind of breaks um, in the day. So uh, that's everything for the, for the weekly layout and the monthly layout. Lots and lots of changes, big changes. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna, so this is, if you just wanted to see the planner, you can tune out now. I'm gonna do a little bit of pen testing just to kind of show you some of the new colors um, of the wet erase markers and the regular markers. So these are the, uh, these are the new wet erase markers. This one is the Gemtone collection, dark red, coral, iris, and gray. I don't have any of the wet wipes here, but you can just use wet paper towel. You can use, um, I don't know, a baby wipe. You can use an alcohol wipe. Pretty much anything works. Okay, so this one is dark red. I tried the coral out and it looks a little bit like the dark red, but I think once it dries, it's a little bit lighter. Did I say this one was coral? I do kind of like that it's a darker pink because some of the lighter wet erase colors are a little hard to see. But this one is iris. Very lavendery. I really like that one. And then this one is gray. If these are the four colors of the wet erase markers. I prefer a fine tip for wet erase. I know they have the more broad tip. I, this is the tip that I prefer. So dark red coral, iris, and gray. Okay, so next we'll do these. Love these, super excited about these. Fuchsia, light pink, coral, nectarine, aloe, kelly green, cerulean, navy, amethyst, and lilac. I 
will link in the comments other marker testing videos I've done because I've, I've done a couple. I think I did some with the with the other color collections. Um, and then this one as well. So this is ballpoint. I can't remember what color it is. Let's find out together. Okay, so this one is the... Do we know what tip this is? I feel like it was probably on the package, but I unwrapped it. So we will learn together. This is the Erin Condren. It's black. Lakin will be so excited. So this is a black ballpoint pen. The tip looks kind of thick, maybe a seven. I don't think it's a real fine tip. I think it might be a seven. Pretty standard ballpoint pen. Writes nicely, pretty smooth. It's really pretty. I love that it comes in this box. I use ballpoint pens sometimes for like filling out forms. So this will be really nice to keep like in my purse or on my, I don't have a desk, but if I had to. I had a desk. I'm gonna say on my desk. It's way fancier than I really am. I don't have a desk in my kitchen, <laughs> in the pen holder. So this is. Um, these are all the colors. I'm gonna try and keep them in order because it's just easier that way. Okay, so we have fuchsia first. Okay, so this is the um, more bold tip. Fine tip. So far, I like fuchsia. The light pink is really light. Move this up a little bit so you can see it better. Mm, light pink. I love this color. This is coral. That's a really pretty color. Winner. Love that one. This one's new, which is great because I don't think they had a lot of good greens. Not good, I mean, the ones that they had were good. There just wasn't a huge selection of them. This one is Kelly Green. Also one that I don't think was in the sets, maybe in one set. Um, another good green, I dig it. I like that one. Okay, this one is Cerulean. I had to Google how to, how to pronounce this. No shame, I will totally admit it. And the voices are so soothing. Cerulean. Cerulean. Am I the only one who didn't know how to pronounce that? Have you guys always known how to pronounce cerulean? If you haven't, you learned something today. <laughs> Ride along with me. This one is navy. I really like this selection of colors. This is definitely, I was having a hard time picking my favorite um, color pack. This is for sure it. 
This one is amethyst. And last but not least is lilac. This one's pretty light too, kind of like the light pink one. So these are all of the colors. I will show you up close so you can see them. What do you think? What's your favorite? This is a great selection. I like that the cor the coral, um, like I'm looking at it on the screen and in person. In, in person, it looks more pinky. On the screen right now, it looks to me more red. So if you're looking for these, know that the coral in real life is a little more pinky um, than it looks right now on the screen. But everything else looks pretty, I don't know, the purple in my real life looks a little bit brighter too. So I'll post some pictures um, on Instagram so you guys can see as well. But those are the pens and markers. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. I'm dying to know what you think. So leave your thoughts in the comments. I have a link in the comments so that when it is time, you can go ahead and buy them. Of course, if you're watching this after they've already launched, then the link is live. And I will um, do my best to list out all the different products that you see here. Also, I'll link to the nails because I know I'll get some questions about those too. My friend Erin sent these to me for a while. I will link to those as well. And um, I hope that was so helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'm excited to see what planner you get. Thank you. Bye.